this video we are going to continue our series and in this particular video we are going to convert our notebook into a proper solution as you can see uh, this is our uh, solution the entire solution that we are going we are following from uh, starting of our series right and all the works previously we have done are stored into this these notebook right like in the model part we have done all the model training in the feature engineering part we have done some of the data manipulation and work on the features right so like that also we have work on the some of the like eda part in the main file so these are the notes books but if you are not going to use some tools like databricks and other which support notebooks by default uh, you are mostly going to convert your solution into a script and that script will give you two leverage first you will maintain that script for a bigger project so that different different people can work on the same problem right and second it can be deployed through docker and other means like directly you can also deploy that on the server or most in the most of the cases you are going to use the docker right so let's let's convert that one so this is going to be a very lengthy video if i am going to manually do all the things in front of you the best way that i have think that i will convert this entire notebooks into a solution i will show you the the what are the files i have kept and what are the codes inside them right and i will provide you this link uh, a github link uh, in the description so you can follow along and if you have any question you just ask in the comments i will happy to clear all your doubts so in the script folder so in the in the watch price solution i have created one script folder right this is a script folder and i have opened this script folder into a separate uh, vs, uh, vs code so always open this in a separate vs code when you are making the src when you are running because it might happen that one when you are reading some of the path it will not take it will take from this root path like watch price but you are providing this into a src reference i will show you what is the problem but for now just open that in a separate uh, notebook uh, separate vs code now the first this you can skip that one okay, this is for the pycharm i will I, I might open the solution in the pycharm that's why it's created so just ignore this after that one data folder is there in this one the original data is there and after conversion of this original data a clean data is there so these two are kept here so one is by default you need to keep and once you run it this clean as we will csv will build right after that what you can uh, these are the dummies are there that we have created so previously when we are working on the on the conversion of categorical values into a dummy one right that time we have used the panda uh, dummy module to convert the categorical into a dummy variable but that solution sometime not working and if you have very high number of uh, categories are there then during prediction what happened you it's very hard to convert this into the dummy variable because say that you are predicting a watch price and your one category is like 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 watch name right and the watch name should be say x y z now how dummy variable work in the pandas is it will see all the dummy variable and then convert that right but during prediction we are just passing one value how it will know that other are what are the other value because ultimately that other value is converting into a dimensions right so for that i have little bit changed the code and convert that instead of using pandas dummies i am using sql learn uh, one hot encodings i will show you that one so these all are all values are there right then we uh, we have one folder where we when we train our model and what are the best model is there we will save that in the model folder right and then uh, we have these files 
so first i will go through a data file a config file so this is nothing just a simple python file where i keep all my configurations so whatever configuration you need to keep here you will keep here so here like that where the data lies right one this is extra column some of the important column some of the categorical column right so these value i am just just taking right and from that i am also giving some of the part where i will see my save my clean data where i save my model right these part this configuration i am providing here in the configuration folder now then i will go to data so data is nothing but the concept of data is like whatever the operation happen on the data will be in this data file so like loading the data pre processing the data right so in the pre processing there are some steps are there so i have created one pre processing class and i am just inheriting this load data so this is nothing just in this class simply the loading is happen then i am working on pre processing so see this one hot encoding instead of e pandas dummy variable i am using this one hot encoding right and then i have created two pipeline so this is the first pipeline and this is the second pipeline so what will happen that by default when we, when we are training this clean will run in this clean will what it will do uh, it will load the data first remove the duplicate value remove extra column clean display so all these things whatever you see right now right so these all steps i have i have done in our previous video in notebook so simply i have taken all the code and convert that into a a function and put it this into a class so this tail one represent that it's a private like private methods are there right and then i am saving converting the vector and saving right and second pipeline is during the prediction because during the prediction it is not going to take this load data right instead of we will pass some data and then again it will do go through some of the steps so some some step it might not work in this case right so as you can see remove outliers right so it will not require in the prediction phase so i have removed that one from here so like that so this is a separate pipeline for prediction and this is a separate pipe from like pipeline for cleaning right and what i have changed these all codes you will find our previous video right if you i will go below and if i see see here is the vectorization is happening the dummy one that's the that's the important part right so in this one i am just calling this i have created one method where i'm passing the data frame series then name and whether i want to save or not so if i want to save then first i will fit that series right and then in then save that one so i am saving that in a pickle format and if it is not saving if it's a prediction one i will just loading right this one i am loading and after that all the things are pretty much same i am taking all the, all the category creating some names and creating data frame and returning that one so that thing is happening so in the dummy one pd dummy one is very hard to save that one if you will save you might going to save that in a list format and you have to write a code map all the value and then convert that right so this one hot encoding from the sql learning is quite easy to use and basically both are doing the same work right and after do, after this this pipeline is completed so for predictions one or cleaning we have now if i go so there is two folder one is training so in the training what happened if i call the call this one train so split the data so it will load this clean data right that we have saved in our previous video right so in the training model so it will read the data so if i read the data so it's reading the clean data right and after reading the clean data it's just doing a splitting the data so splitting means if i search splitting it 
it's drop first drop then x y then split the, that into thin and end case right and then these are the some of the model training are happening so like that then i will do the decision tree random forest xz boost and i know that xz boost is giving me a best result so i i am hyper parameter tuning that one and then i am selling the value right so this is a simple one then i am calling this train into the main folder like i am making objects and calling this train like that if you want to predict if you simply go here and predict so in the prediction first i have created one uh, product class so this product class is nothing but we can say that converting our raw data into a data frame that we are going to use for prediction so here are some of the columns i have defined the same column that we are passing in the smart watches right and then i will make a predict class and here i am just taking one object and passing some value so it's it's converting that into data frame and from conversion it's calling the pre processing and then here you can see the clean df pre process uh, clean df prediction pipeline is called right and after that it's just it's just simply returning that one so whatever return is happen it's contain also a discount price so i am dropping that one after prediction i am just predicting the value so if i run this one you can see one predicted value is coming right and how you can generate this one this clean value simply again you have to uh, make the instance of this uh, pre-processes right and then you need to simply call this class if i go into definition of this one you can see you see you need to simply call this one so it will load the data the data here and do all the process and save that data right so this is it for this particular video in the next video i will convert this into a fast api and from fast api after that video i will try to convert that into a docker one right so two more video will come right if you have any question you just ask in the comment i will put this code into our github and from there you can also download and see what other codes are there thank you